Is it us, or did Wendy Williams, 53, return from her health hiatus with her most fiery disses yet? She went in on Aubrey O'Day, 35, and Stormy Daniels, 39, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, when she discussed their alleged intimate relations with the Trump men. O'Day with Donald Trump Jr., 2011-2012, and Daniels, a former porn star, with President Donald Trump, 71, 2006. Wendy slammed Daniels' appearance before she hashed up Daniels' stripper past. Wendy then moved on to O'Day, where she taunted the singer about her age and warned her that Don Jr. would never be interested in her again after their alleged affair. This stormy can go away as far as I'm concerned, Wendy said before attacking the former porn star's appearance. You know, she's got a few more miles left on her face, where she could be at the hoedown. The strip clubs love featured performers, so she could be a featured performer at seven strip clubs across the country just on the basis of Stormy Daniels. But, she can go away. Then, the outspoken talk show host made O'Day her target on hot topics. All right Aubrey, you have to look at this as your glass is half full. Wendy began. You haven't done anything since you got fired on Celebrity Apprentice, you didn't do much before that, you were in Danity Kane and various carnations of your look, but I can still recognize you though. Even though you're 47. Wendy said before a producer had to correct her, informing her that O'Day is actually 35 years old. After the audience roared with laughter, Wendy continued, I don't mean that in a bad way, she looks better than Stormy Daniels. Sorry Aubrey, but you could pass for a woman in her 40s. Yikes. And, Wendy wasn't done there. She continued to rip O'Day apart, this time hashing up her alleged relationship with Don Jr., where a recent report claimed the two allegedly engaged in a full-blown affair after they met on the set of Celebrity Apprentice in 2011. Aubrey says she doesn't want to take financial advantage of the situation, that they really did have a thing for each other. Wendy said, but guess what Aubrey, and I do believe you, even when this guy divorces his wife, he's not going to come back and be with you, even for a one-night stand. You are going to be the most watched person, if you're not right now, on the face of the earth, in terms of staying away from the sun, this guy is never going to marry you anyway. As previously reported, O'Day and Don Jr.'s alleged romance came to an end in March 2012 when he called off the alleged affair when his wife and mother of his five kids, Vanessa, 40, discovered emails between her husband and O'Day. Vanessa filed for an uncontested divorce from Trump on March 15, 2018. After 12 years of marriage, we have decided to go our separate ways, the pair said in a statement to us weekly at the time. We will always have tremendous respect for each other and our families. We have five beautiful children together and they remain our top priority. We ask for your privacy during this time. As for Daniels and President Trump, Daniels gave a bombshell interview on 60 Minutes on March 25th, where she claimed she slept with Trump back in 2006, after the two had met at a celebrity golf tournament in Lake Tahoe. She then claimed she was threatened to keep quiet about the alleged affair. Daniels also alleged that Trump paid her off $130,000 just weeks before the 2016 election. Trump has since denied the allegations.